we have a developing story coming out of Corning today. This morning, state and local officials announcing the addition of a million dollars in grant funding to complete the Hilton Garden and construction project, which has been put on hold for an environmental cleanup. WENY's Isabel Garcia talked with community leaders about the timeline and how it will impact Corning's north side. This has been the site of the future Hilton Garden Inn for more than a year, with construction halted by the DEC for remediation. With today's announcement of the added funds, construction is scheduled to pick back up by the end of this month. Earlier this year, the DEC completed remediation of manufacturing waste found in the soil where the hotel is being built. The discovery of contaminants back in 2015 forced construction to immediately stop, changing the timeline for the hotel. It's a year in the process, uh, extra um, cleanup and disposal costs uh, for that um, soil that was here. Uh, but more importantly, the cost for delaying contractors from coming to work uh, and starting, uh, everything's rebid, rebid and uh, certainly those costs go up. They never go down when that happens. So there was over a 10% increase in the cost of this project, which put it in significant jeopardy. The project originally cost $18 million with a grant from the Southern Tier Regional Economic Development Council for $2 million. With the delay, the total project cost is now about $20.2 million. To help restart construction, the REDC is adding $600,000 to their grant, and State Senator Tom O'Mara also secured $400,000 through a Senate initiative grant. Well, without the state's participation, the project just didn't work. Uh, so the $3 million from the state is critical, uh, but the, the person that's really making this happen is Kerry Fitzpatrick, the developer, uh, who obviously is putting in over $17 million of his own money. The future Hilton Garden Inn is considered a critical project for Corning's north side. Uh, with the Museum of Glasses expansion, Arbor Development, and the small businesses over here having a, a first-class hotel will really help stimulate tourism and uh, bring people to the area. Construction for the hotel is set to be completed by August of next year. For now reporting in Corning, Isabel Garcia, WENY News.